Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome music lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I would like to ask you one simple question. Are you trying to play for an audience, or are you trying to impress musicians? It's an important question, and it's really important to know the answer in regards to your own playing and the way that you perceive yourself while you're playing. Because um, I see many, many guitar players, whether live or when I speak to them, or just guitar players on YouTube, and most guitar players seem to me as if they're trying to impress other guitar players instead of just making music and having fun for themselves, okay? Just enjoying the instrument and connecting to the music emotionally. That's a problem with, uh, with many many instrumentalists. Um, I know that there's a huge competition among pianists um, and among um, string instruments, uh, instrumentalists, but with guitar players it's, it's a disease because the guitar, the guitar world contains such a lavish, uh, a lavish image the, the guitar player persona, you know, long hair, leather clothing, um, showing off your, your technique, your dazzling pyrotechnic uh, techniques and tricks on the guitar. And while all of that is, is well and good and, um, and it, it's, it's quite legitimate, um, somewhere along the way, you have to remember why you're playing the guitar. You, you're playing an instrument to connect emotionally. You're playing the instrument to create something of beauty. Music is a beautiful thing. Even atonal music or really, really fast pyrotechnical music can and should be beautiful. And when you cross that line into trying to impress other musicians, even without noticing, Okay, most players don't do it intentionally, um, but sometimes without noticing, you're trying to impress other musicians and that stifles your own creativity and, and it kind of boxes you into this image of yourself that might be disconnected from reality. Now, I, I find myself, um, especially when I'm trying to um, record demonstrations of my arrangements for the arrangement lessons, I find myself in that position sometimes. And I have to consciously remind myself that I'm playing for my audience, for my viewers, for my students, not for other players. I hate recording. I, I love improvising. I love creating. I love uh, I love explaining and demonstrating things for other people. But I hate recording. I hate it because it makes me self conscious. And I and I and I always find myself thinking that some imaginary guitar player is sitting there and judging me. And I believe that I'm not the only one. And you have to stop trying to impress musicians um, because if you get into that competition, there is no end to it. It never ends, that competition, that, that internal competition. The only person you're competing with is yourself, actually, because again, it's, it's some imaginary player sitting there and judging you. But you have to remember that there is, if there is a professional guitar player sitting in the other end uh, of the screen, on the other end of the screen, and they're watching you. Most uh, most chances are they'll they'll be very um, generous with their comments and the way that they enjoy your playing. If only because it's different from their own way of playing it, they might find new ideas through you, even if you're not a professional. Okay? Sometimes I f uh, I find a video on YouTube. And it's a beginner player, but he's playing some chord progression or some idea or some lick that I, I myself haven't thought of. And I'm the richer man for it because I've learned something new from that beginner player. 
So even though I am a professional, I never judge other players. I never judge other players. I'm only disappointed if I see a very good player trying to impress me intentionally, trying to show off and show me how good they are. Because then the music disappears and, and goes into the background. And the music should always be in the foreground. Now, it's really easy to impress audiences because audiences don't know what's under the hood. Audiences only look for emotional experiences. So if you give them a beautiful chord, okay, and, okay, and you vibrate the chord okay, really, really well, and, and you present a nice, okay, a nice idea, or you give them Okay, a really clean experience. Okay, that's all they're looking for. And you know audiences. You don't have to do much technically to impress audiences. Let's say you have a tapping leg. Okay, and you play. Okay. It's enough to just repeat that lick, okay? Just repeat it, okay? And at some point, the audience starts to cheer. It's the weirdest thing. The audience, audiences all around the world seem to have one thought. If the player can repeat the line and keep it going, that means that I should clap. That means that it's impressive. It's that easy to impress audiences. And I, know, I don't know if you're a jazz fan, but if you've ever seen uh, a saxophone player uh, play, rip through a solo, a really fast bebop solo, and then do this. Okay, get into, yeah, I know, it's silly, right? Do that really high-pitched squeal thing, and then the audience goes nuts. The audience goes crazy for those sounds because they think that it's really, really difficult to extract from the saxophone. While it's actually a pretty, you know, standard thing. Anyone can do it. So, um, you don't need to do much to impress audiences. Audience are look audiences are looking for an emotional experience. They're looking for a, a joy ride. And those, those fast legs, Repetitive legs uh, are the peak. They're kind of like taking them on a joyride and then you reach the peak, okay? It's their peak. It's not necessarily your peak. And the same goes for a professional watching you. If a professional musician is watching you play, most chances are they'll experience something very different than what you're experiencing while you play. It's two completely different experiences. Okay? Music is a very, very subjective individual experience. So just play for yourself. If you're enjoying the music, if you're feeling the music, if you're, uh, feel, if you're going through an emotional experience while playing the music and you express those emotions through the instrument, that's enough. It's enough for everybody, for you, for your audience, and for the professionals who might be listening and watching you. Stop trying to impress musicians. Stop competing. Refuse to compete, okay? Play for yourself. That's the only thing that matters, okay? Because it's your voice. It's your instrument and it's your music. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Have fun.